a hero will rise. The time is near. The legacy lives on. Right before your eyes. No one is born a hero. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Prostoria. Uh, to the how do you call it in English? Do you have it? The room. The room? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the room <laughs> again. <laughs> so, uh, for this uh, lecture, we have Petra Titsovic, who you've seen last night uh, <laughs> as our <laughs> hostess, as our um, uh, welcome uh, person and our actor and everything. <laughs> so, Petra is a good friend uh, of our festival. Um, as I heard, uh, you're uh, talking about acting. So uh, you are a professional actor, actress, and so as you know, we have our guests from all over the world here, and um, you also please feel free to engage in the conversation. So Petra, mic is yours again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so my name is uh, Petra. I'm a professional actress. I finished the uh, academy of acting and uh, puppeteering in uh, Osijek. 
Um, so uh, when I finished uh, my academy, I was um, my first job was uh, filming, and uh, three. But on when I was studying, we had no acting in front of the camera, absolutely nothing. So I <laughs> I came from um, education that was only for theater, and <laughs> when I got my first job as a uh, actor in front of the camera, it was really embarrassing <laughs> because uh, with all the knowledge I had, I used it. But in front of the camera, it's, it's different. Uh, it's small differences, but they really count. So the first time I was filming uh, for the, um, the production was HRT, Croatian National, National. National TV. Uh, it was um, a series that was directed by uh, Danilo Šerbeđija, and um, I had a small role. Um, I had to come into the room. Uh, there were some fellow actors, and uh, my my I had lines which I, of course, learned. I came totally prepared, uh, but when I came in, I I came like, okay. I stood there, I took a pause, I opened myself, and then I started talking, and the director was, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, what, what? Look at your colleagues, look at your actors. Where are you looking? I said, I'm opening to the cameras, you know? And he <laughs> said, no, look, girl, we have three cameras. One is there, one is there, and one is here. And this is your camera. You don't have to open yourself for those two cameras, I'm like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> so so th that, that actually that first filming was my real school, you know, because um, like I said, I had no experience and on the academy we, we didn't have those lectures. So uh, there was an um, older actor who is um, unfortunately deceased, uh, but uh, he gave me, after that uh, filming, he called me and said, okay, come, we will have a, a, a tiny lecture about film acting. And he told me, um, you are very expressive, I have a very expressive face, but you have to calm yourself down in front of the camera, because camera <laughs> doesn't tolerate what theater tolerates, you know. We were teach to be big on the stage, you know, you have to uh, show that thing you are saying, you have to articulate, you have to be very direct with your hands and with every gesture you take. But the camera is very, very fine, you know, very uh, minimalistic. And um, those, those lectures, you <laughs> those things you learn when you are doing it, at least for me, you know. And, um, but to go back a little bit to my academy, I had a very, very good uh, acting teacher. Some of you know him, he's, a, he's an actor, uh, Zia Sokolovic. And uh, he told something that stick to me for all these years. Uh, acting is like love, but fuck, it's nothing romantic. Uh, it's uh, when you are in love with someone, you can feel everything, you know, you can feel tons of emotions, you can cry yourself to sleep, you can be head over heels in love with that person, but if you don't show that person how you feel, that person may never know how you feel. And, that's this, and it's the same with acting. You can feel on the stage or in front of the camera, you can feel tons of emotions. You know, you, you may think you're on the stage doing like, wow, I feel everything, I'm so in love with you, or I'm so sad, but if you don't show it in the real way, it's nothing. So this uh, teacher, Zia, um, he, had a, he had a very interesting uh, way of teaching. Uh, his, uh, like, uh, how to say, method is uh, that um, everything can be shown. You don't have to feel all those emotions. Uh, 
through the years I realized that it's, uh, yes, of course, it, it is true, but if you don't have that feeling inside of you when you are doing it, or at least when you are uh, working on your role, uh, then it's only showing, it's only from the outside, and it's, you can feel it when it's not real. I mean, you've seen it uh, when someone is on the stage and it's not real, when it's someone just showing. But uh, there are some, how to say, a uh, little... Traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah little, little things that, uh, that makes your inner feelings come out better. So that's something that I'm working um, and thinking about every time I'm preparing for a role, either on stage or in front of the camera. And um, yeah, it's very different. Uh, I mean, you are mostly filmmakers, right? But um, when, I mean, for me, I've been in, in front of the camera a lot of years and now mostly in theater. Um, theater is, for me, more real because um, because of the process, you know, because of everything that is going between me and the audience. But that's just for me, you know. <laughs> Everyone has its own uh, way of thinking. So uh, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm just rambling on. So if you have some questions, feel free to feel free to. Uh, Where is the mic? Yeah. Where is mic? Okay. Uh, while the mic is he getting here, uh, actually, you're also a writer yourself. Yeah. yourself. We've been uh, having an interview a few months ago. Yeah. So you were saying that uh, it's like you have a split personality or oh, like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. triple personality I'm or whatsoever. How it is, yeah. <laughs> how it is when you are writing for someone or how is it for you when uh -huh. you get the text uh, oh. that you have to act? How do you feel about those different parts? I mean, I, um, most, first of all, I'm an actress, so it's not a problem. When I get the text, um, I, um, I try to find, uh, uh, how to say, I, I try to fall in love with the text, uh, no matter is it mine or is it uh, that someone else wrote. Uh, so I don't have that, you know. I think... For me, it's easier to act when someone else <laughs> has written, has written the, the text. text. Yes. But you also yes. act at your own. But uh, yes, text. I also act. But I then I never direct it, you know, because I want the director to see his own uh, version of my text. Okay. I like that a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was wondering if you could maybe expand uh, upon the the thing you talked about. Uh, so the maybe when you get a text and yeah. uh, you first start uh, maybe uh, getting to know the character and uh, the lines. Mm -hmm. But uh, when does the the learning to to learning your lines and uh, just delivering lines uh, become uh, what you talked about? Maybe feeling the lines uh -huh. and uh, being. Uh, real and how much as a professional do you when you work uh, maybe many projects and uh, maybe you're sometimes between projects yeah how much do you uh, in the in in each in take or yeah. each uh, theater performance yeah. do you uh, truly feel the character or uh, do you as you said maybe just learn uh, tricks to express yeah. some emotions uh, well it's uh, I I try to find a connection every time I have a new character it, um, it doesn't matter for me, did I feel, for me, like Petra, did, did she, did I feel everything that's happening in the text? But I try to translate it. You know, maybe I didn't, like, um, kill the person, you know, yeah. but in, in this play that we are doing right now, I have to kill a person. I never did that, you know. <laughs> honestly, honestly. <laughs> um, I wanted to kill some, but... Uh, uh, but I try to translate it for me. What would that be for me? You know, um, I I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes hard to express uh, the process the actors <laughs> are going through. Um, I think it's. Um, I really need it. To, I really need to translate that. You know, because I have to find the connection between me and the character. Otherwise, it's not going through me. 
it's not real for me. And then I just do the tricks, but for me, I, I, I really don't want that. Okay. You know, I, mm, I'm the kind of, the, that kind of actor, actress that wants to feel. I really enjoy that. So you, you think, maybe it's a hard question, but you think that after uh, like learning the lines at some yeah. point, uh, it doesn't become just about the deliver, delivery, delivery, uh, yeah. but also, yeah, feeling it and... Yeah, I, I think, for me, that's the way. But right now, I have a director that is very old school. Okay. You know, he's a very um, old director that was... Um, he was the student of um, uh, Costa Spajic, you know, and Gave Gavella, and uh, he, everything is on the line. How do you say it? You have to be very articulate. You have to do the accents right, you know. You have, and um, mm, for me, that's okay, but that's the technical thing, you know, the technical. Uh, for me, it first has to go through my body. I have to feel that. And then, okay, we can do on, on accents or uh, delivery, you know. Uh, so we are now a little bit like conflicting, <laughs> but, but you know, that's the process. You, you can't uh, always get what you want. <laughs> but uh, as, a, as an actor who likes to so, uh, feel yeah. what they, they, they are saying, what yeah. they are delivering, do you find it hard maybe when the script is not uh, up to the level that it could be? Oh, maybe yeah. Maybe when, when characters, uh, characters emo uh, not mo emotions, but motivations, mm -hmm. maybe aren't, um, they don't follow the, the journey of the character know, so I know, far. I, I do I you understand. find it hard to, to work that way? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, definitely. You can feel it. You, I mean, um, when the text is well written, what, like the one we have now, then it goes so easy, you know, you can find everything in the text, you can find in the first line is connected to the 57th, you yeah. know, and all the way to, through the end, everything is connected and everything that author wrote is on its place. Nothing is, um, how do you say, no. nothing is um, too much, nothing is too much, you know, and that is just a piece of art. And, and when, uh, and when the text is not like that, you go, fuck, what now? You have to find your, you have to find your connection and then you're losing so much creative time that you can be doing on acting, you know, and uh, connecting with other people, but you have to uh, work the text. So, yeah, it's hard. So, <laughs> even as a professional, uh, that can be hard yeah. if you're not feeling it yeah, on a personal level? Yeah, it can level. be, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, if you, if we are on that topic, um, okay, it's maybe an extreme example, yeah. but uh, when it comes to like maybe method acting, and mm -hmm. uh, I know the the obvious example of Daniel Day Lewis, mm -hmm. so he has always talked about uh, pretty much taking his characters home and mm -hmm. uh, becoming the 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 the, the person he yeah. has to act. Do you maybe sometimes uh, find it hard to juggle the lines of uh, this is acting and this is me personally, yeah. uh, or does a professional uh, leave it at the workplace? Um, I, I think I have that balance in me. I can um, leave it behind. I can, but I, I won't lie to you. I have sometimes, it sticks to me when the role is intense. It sticks to me pretty much. Um, it's not going to affect my life. But at night when I go to sleep, I will think about it all the time, you know. And in the process, it is all over me. You, you, it's not a job you can live right. in the theater or you, you, you take it with you every time. And I can say definitely that every role had, effect, had an effect on me. As a person, yeah, definitely. I mean, in a good way. I try yeah. to take it in a good way. But um, there are some, some roles that, are, like, if I'm, I had a play where I am a um, mother of an autistic child. I am also a mother. My kids are, ugh, not normal, that's a wrong word. Uh, but they are not in the spectrum. 
and um, I couldn't uh, leave the feeling when I come home, you know, that, that feeling of that mother who has an uh, autistic child, it's with me, you know, and I sometimes then look at my kids on the, through the eyes of another. So it can be it can be hard on a personal level. Well, yeah, but I think um, I, I love that job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that that it, it's it's good for me. You know, <laughs> I, I I will not end up in a mental institution. I hope, uh, <laughs> and my kids are not affected. I think <laughs> we will see in like ten years. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, it 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 it's I won't say it hard. It's rich. It's rich. <laughs> Sorry for stealing the mic if anyone else wants to. Uh, I have, uh, I mean, a short, but an answer could be either a long or a short. Okay. Uh, but what do you consider like a great actor? Like, how do you, yeah. what, do, what kind of uh, characteristics does yeah, an actor yeah, yeah. need to have for you to respect them? Oh, I'm, I, I'm thinking about that question and th actually that answer for like 20 years really, you know? <laughs> what is that something that someone has when you see someone on stage and you just go, fuck, there's no one like her or him, you know? And you have that. You, you see, you go to, I, uh, I personally love uh, Yadranka Jokic, you know? And she has that something that magnetic something that you can't learn. There's no school for that. She can learn like um, the techniques and everything, but she has that something that I think, I don't know what is it. So uh, I'm more of, a, when I'm thinking about that answer, I'm more in, uh, in like metaphysics, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I don't think it's something that you can say this or this. It's not, I, I sometimes, uh, when I was younger, I thought maybe it's because of the personality. So someone is, I had a teacher that said to me, uh, all the great actors are great, like good persons, but no. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not, 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 not even remotely right? true. <laughs> like I know some pricks, but when they go on stage, they're like, wow. So no, that's not the answer. So what is it? Is it something that, I don't know, is it born with that or, I mean, I'm not that person, <laughs> you know? You can, you, can, you can only watch those, like Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, you can hate him and love him, but you can't say that he's not good. He's like, wow. And um, who knows what he's doing and what he has in him. I don't know, I think it's, it's in the soul or something like that, you know. It's maybe the most artistic part of the so filmmaking is a, is a collaboration between the technical side. Yeah, so definitely. It's the, the people who are, who are filming and so on, no. uh, and the artistic side, and maybe acting is the most artistic. Uh, I think so. I mean, but uh, you also have to have some, you know, like technical things. I mean, the uh, voice, you know, mm, or uh, being able to repeat the same thing when it's filming a uh, hundred times, you have to make the scene one more time, one more time, one more time, you have to bring everything out. I mean, those are things that you can learn, but that something that, that we are talking about is something inside that is, I don't know what. <laughs> is it hard to, to sorry? <laughs> Uh, do you find it hard to, to keep maybe acting uh, surprised or uh, scared on the 37th take of the oh, day? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I so mean, on. I don't know. I, maybe those things you can learn. You know, those things I think you can learn to show. And, uh, but, but also when you, are do, when you learn that, you see in the eye of the actor when it's not real. Yeah. But okay. For some, some actors are so good technical actors that you believe them. But I think the real ones are the ones that combine those two. You know, combine that ono nešto and that um, technical. 
I don't know. I, I, that's that's why I think. Maybe <laughs> for the for the people who are not speaking Croatian, when she uh, mentions <laughs> ono nešto, <laughs> that would be uh, like translate to yeah. that thing, that uh, unspeakable, <laughs> uh, not understandable, abstract thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no. But um, my my partner is also an actor, and um, we we talk about those things a lot. You know, you we so many movies, so many shows, and you can say everything was good, everything was you know, fine, but damn, that actor was good, you know? Damn, fuck, what is he doing, you know? And then you go Google him, and then you look at everything he's done, and still don't get it. <laughs> so that's, that's the, but that, that's why this job, how you can say job, filmmaking, theater, everything, is, why it's the best thing in the world because you don't you never know you know you never know what is the key you you have to find it for yourself and it's interesting because uh, many great acclaimed directors which made uh, great films have uh, totally opposing uh, yeah. views and ways of working with actors so for for example hitchcock famously hated actors <laughs> he yeah, wanted yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he would have preferred his job if it, ha it had nothing to do with actors. <laughs> so he was all about the technical and you yeah. do this. And yeah. when they would ask him, uh, what's your motiva uh, motivation? He would ask, does the audience, what's the, what is the motivation? The, yeah. That's not something which can be even seen that way maybe. And uh, uh, a director like uh, Paul Thomas Anderson uh, would tell you that uh, actors are the, the, the best weapon of a, yeah. of a filmmaker. So it's interesting because to... Oh, it's very different kind of directors you know you have a director that says you make three steps forward you turn your head like this and then you say the line and we're like okay but somehow it works you know because those three steps are crucial and they make the difference of course you have to you have to that i i say it again you have to feel you can't just back, 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 because then everyone could do it um, but then I had a director that, uh, like the biggest monologue, he said, okay, when you feel it, we don't have to practice it. When you feel it, you will come. And that we will, you know, like, what? We want nothing? We won't practice? No, no, no. You have to feel it. So that's like that, you know, someone, some director sees you only as a, as a technical, as a, uh, Apparat, like um, instrument. Yeah, instrument. yeah, yeah. To say his idea, and some director will combine you in his idea, and some directors don't have an idea. Uh, <laughs> do you? Uh, what's your personal uh, maybe preference when it comes to, uh, as you said, um, practicing? Uh, are you some someone who maybe likes to? Do it on the first take, or uh, do you no. like to uh, practice a lot before even the camera starts rolling? Oh, or? no, no, no. I don't like to practice a lot. When, yeah. uh, it, it, when it's uh, for the camera, I, uh, I think that's for me, it's different, uh, theater and camera, but in my experience, because every time I practice for the camera, uh, and I could uh, do it alone in my home day before the shooting, and I was like, okay, I know the lines, I will do this here, and blah, blah, blah. And then I came to the set and everything is different. <laughs> because um, I think it's very important, for me, it's very important to have a partner. You know, because I, when I'm acting, I draw it from my partner. I think it's a... Sergei Trifunovic always talks about that, that uh, you know? uh, uh, he hates auditions because yeah. you come to this room and yeah. you have to talk to a, to a <laughs> assistant director yeah. who delivers the lines yeah. like... Yes. And that then you said to him... Horrible. Yeah, yeah, okay. Horrible. For yeah. me, it's the worst thing. How can I, in front of the mirror? No, definitely, I cannot, uh, like, mm, how to say, uh, my lines, uh, practice my lines in front of the mirror because that's the worst thing for me. Uh, but when I have, I don't know, when I was a student, so, mom, can you please uh, uh, read the lines? No, that's even worse. <laughs> so I have to have a partner who is listening, who is uh, reacting. And uh, that's why when before before shooting, I will okay, I will learn the lines, but I will leave it open to the um, to the place, to the partner, to the camera, to everything that's around me. And that's why I like theater because in theater you have long rehearsals, you know, when where you 
search, you dig, you try to find, um, not the best way to say it, but to, to understand it. When you understand the lines, but when you have a good writer, it's easier to, to understand it quickly, and then you can play. And that's, that's, that's the most beautiful part of it. But um, yeah, I like rehearsing. <laughs> uh, you mentioned your husband, who's also an yeah. actor. I don't want to go too personal, uh, yeah. but uh, do you maybe, uh, in your free time, uh, try lines with uh, him? Does that help you, or do you leave it to the to the uh, to your partners in the in the yeah. film film or? Uh, sometimes we do we at home, but um, I think the surroundings are not good, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's too <laughs> private and um, and it's it's not I don't know um, so l maybe maybe we don't do it as much as we could you know we we have some some plays that we are together in it and we could use the time at home when we could practice but <laughs> we're not doing it <laughs> no maybe we could be better <laughs> if we do it but we don't <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I thought you would ask me is it a, is it hard to to uh, play? <laughs> um, no, it 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 works great for us. Yeah, it works really great. We are really like um, uh, how do you say? Nado uh, punyemo, feeling each other. Yeah, 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 F yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> So you said in theater you have long rehearsals and during a play it lasts for like hour and a half to, I don't know, three hours. Yeah. So you kind of feel the emotions through yes. the whole play. So maybe is it hard uh, in front of the camera, since you have to make uh, many yeah, takes, yeah. is it hard to find the emotion again because it's done in like, um, no. not chronologically, so you don't oh, have the emotion yeah. of the whole movie well, or series. In the beginning when I started, uh, it was hard for me. You know, you have like um, you have to film uh, ten scenes this day, and in the fifth you have to cry. And but the the four scenes before were like ha 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 la la la, and then you came to the <laughs> fifth, and then okay, camera cry, and it was what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How? But that's because I had, uh, like I said, we had no uh, acting in front of the camera in the school. In, uh, in the academy. And I think um, you have, for all the students, I think it's good to have those techniques, you know? You have to find that something that you can, like, just dig in in you and, like, start crying. I, I, uh, in theater, it's easier for me, for me, and I have some colleagues that can cry, like, okay, cry, and she turns it on, like, somehow, <laughs> and it just goes pouring out. Uh, for me, I, I think it's, it's not that way. I have to have, like, a, I have my own techni techniques now, but it took me a while. It took me a while. It was hard for me in the beginning, but okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it <laughs> now. <laughs> question I don't know if you have an answer for this but maybe who would be one of your favorite like young actors in theater or in film in Croatia uh, like, young like younger than me or young well, um, like newcomers maybe newcomers Ooh, check it. <laughs> um, I think uh, for me it's um, for a long time now I'm not looking at someone as a good actor, um, but I'm looking more, did he or she made a good role? I don't know if you understand. Um, when I'm looking at a play, I'm not looking, uh, how, okay, she's brilliant, but I'm looking how everything is combined and um, how did someone work on it. That's for me more, more interesting. So I'm not, I can't say for sure that I find this or that actor brilliant or very good. I think I have some people that I admire for the roles they did, you know. Um, so I can't have <laughs> an answer for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a question for me, so, uh, 
Oh, okay. Bring it on. Uh, how does maybe having or not having an audience inform the way you act? So uh, in uh, theater, maybe, uh, okay, it's expected to have like a, no. a, a hall uh, full of uh, People, the yeah. audience. And maybe in filmmaking, sometimes uh, if it's... Um, for example, does uh, having film crew workers, mm -hmm. so if there are 50 people around you uh, while you're uh, shooting the, the scene, does that in any way change how you uh, act or how you feel about acting, how you find your motivation, the way you say a line and so on? Mm -hmm. Is it maybe easier for you to have the director and the director of photography uh, and your partner in the scene uh, looking at you? No. Uh, or is it all the same if uh, the seven grips and uh, five electricians are uh, looking at you in the same time? I think it's the same for me. You know, I, I don't feel the difference when... Is it a technician there or not? Or is it a director? I think, I think it's the same. I, I, when I do it, I do it, no matter who is it there, you know, I, for me, yeah, I don't know if I <laughs> answered your question. Yeah. Um, I, I never try to um, put weight on, s on the audience, yeah, you know, okay. I'm not expecting anything from the audience. I do it for them. So if something comes back, wow, great. And if not, okay. It didn't, it didn't strike them or touch them, okay. You can't affect, um, I mean, um, it's, it's different when you have a live audience that, uh, that knows what they came to look, you know, in theater. When you have, okay, so they see, uh, it's a comedy. Okay, so they come with an attitude, you know. They, can't, they come to see, they want to laugh. So uh, we, you will, if it's a good play, you will get the reaction. But I'm, uh, sometimes when you, when I as an actor expect reaction and don't get it, then something, I, uh, I feel bad, so I try every time we have a play, I try to, I know they are there, but I'm not expecting anything. So you wouldn't say that if a play, I'm, I, I don't know, lasts 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, an audience uh, maybe in the first 15 reacts mm -hmm. worse, so yeah. when it comes to laughing and so yeah. on, reacts worse than uh, some other audience, yeah. you wouldn't say that in the next 30 minutes you maybe uh, do things more expressively, less, less mm. expressively, do you? Do you think you maybe even subconsciously change your performance? Probably, probably okay. you do something subconsciously, probably you do, because you expect, um, yeah, probably you do, but then it starts to come, because you have other actors, you have colleagues, and if everyone tries to do that, I think it will go <laughs> in the wrong way, if you know what I mean. Sometimes, but then, uh, a play is so, it's a living organism, a play, really, it's, um, you have to be, oh, everyone has to be on, like, on the same energy level, or if someone is not, yes, subconsciously you are trying to get them there. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with the audience. audience. I, yes. Uh, so, but I think it's subconsciously. I don't, I don't think it's, it's uh, for me at least, it's not something that I will it, um, intensely do, like, you know. I will do this right now, so you will laugh. I think, no. If, if, if you are not feeling it, fuck it, you know. Uh, you mentioned uh, the, uh, a play as, an, as, as a living organism. Yep. So, personally, I never saw a play, uh, the same play, play twice. Mm -hmm. So I c can't comment uh, if it was different. Uh, does oh when you're yeah. touring a play 10 times, uh, how much oh. does it actually change? Oh my God. And can you do the 10th per performance? Is the 10th per performance, or, uh, is the last performance the <laughs> best or the worst? I, it's something that you can't describe. I mean, we had a we had a opening night for the the play, and we were so bad. Oh my God, we were so bad. We we were just so uh, like nervous. Uh, the, the the four of us, uh, four actresses, we everything was bad before the play. So we came into the play v with a very bad energy, very bad, and we we felt it all the 
way, like uh, one hour and a half, the four of us knew it was horrible. And, um, and the audience, they reacted really good. So we were, in the end, we were like, what just happened, you know? How did, how, why are they liking it? We were so bad. And the other day, the day uh, after, the, the tense was not there anymore. We were like, relax, we, and the play was so different. And my friend, the colleague from my, my theater, watched both, and he said, what was that yesterday? What the fuck was second. that? No, the second one was great. Okay. What happened with the first? Because he's an actor also, and he knows, he sees it, he feels it when the actors are not listening to each other, when you're just saying the lines because you have to say the lines. The, the audience, because the play was okay, How, um, the play was um, uh, well, I, I think, well written and well organized, so it, 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 it's at least three plus. You know, so the audience audience will be content. You know, but the day after was wow, okay. and and uh, and that struck me because uh, the the guy from my theater said, okay, the first day was horrible, and the second day, and we did like everything we we said the exact same lines, but the energy was different. So through through uh, even more. Uh, uh, performances than yeah. just two, it can uh, quite significantly, uh, qu quite yes significantly, no. <laughs> you would say, evolve. Change. Uh, yes and no. It, it depends. It really depends. Uh, if we are all mm, in love with the play, okay. it can only grow. You know, it can only be better. And when we are not feeling it the same, then the more you play it, <laughs> the, you just get pew, pew, this goes its way, this goes his way, you know, it's like, okay, let's close it, let's say it goodbye. <laughs> Anybody have a question? Uh, when, uh, when talking about getting into character, mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing uh, several plays uh, uh -huh. in around the same time, uh, how hard do you find like uh, transferring from one character from one play to yeah. another character in the other play? Mm, I thought I did that easy, but uh, maybe I'm old now. <laughs> and um, I had a period uh, four months ago. I just had, I had that. I had three different, completely different plays, completely different roles. And uh, in one day, I had three different plays. And day after, I was, I was dead. Physically, emotionally, I was dry. I had no voice. I was, I was lying in my bed crying. And I just said, I cannot get up today. And I had a play at night. And I was like, give me, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not calling for drugs, but I'm calling for something to give, to, you know, wake me up. To, to not, not to wake me up. It's not about uh, energy. It's not about energy. It's about everything, you know, because, but that, that, that's what, and I wouldn't say for my, myself that I'm a method actor or something like that, but I, I, love, I love to feel it, and it can drain you. You know, it can drain you. It's, it's, um, I, uh, I like music a lot, and uh, uh, the other day, I, uh, everything when I do a play and actor, uh, acting, I um, correspond it with music. Someone, do it, someone does it with sport, I do it with music. And I just saw a documentary, I don't know who of you loves uh, Foo Fighters, but uh, the, the drummer died, you know? And uh, they said um, um, that he was feeling very exhausted few months before because they were touring and it's the same, uh, you know, it's different uh, cities uh, every day you have and you give yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, uh, before, yeah, before the, 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 oh, during the tour. Okay, okay. We, I won't get in what he's using or that, but uh, I, I'm, I'm just talking about um, when you are in it, 
you give yourself. You know, when you, and you, we love to do, I mean, I like to do it. I like to give myself. And that's exhausting. And when you have to switch, you know, it is exhausting. I mean, you find your ways to recover, but I won't lie to you. It's, it's pretty hard sometimes, especially when it's, it's in a small, like, um, period. You know, we had, we had a tour with the, with the play. And, okay, it was the same play, but it was emotional. Every day it's emotional. Every day. You know, and at the, at the seventh day, you are like, <sighs> you know, you, you, you don't, you, you just want to feel nothing because it's exhausting to feel all those emotions all the time. It's not natural, <laughs> you know. So it can be hard. But then you have periods when you, you relax and do nothing. And so it's like, you, it's not balancing. It's not, we are not living in balance, we actors, <laughs> definitely. But, uh, but we try to find our ways, you know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was wondering, because you were talking about the um, different styles of directors, mm -hmm. um, I can ma imagine that one director is more um, trusting on your creative uh, choices and others are like the like the one with the three steps. Yeah. Um, is there a preference for a directing style you have? Do you like, like the strict directing or more the freedom? Because I can imagine if yeah. it's strict, then um, you can trust on their uh, vision and mm -hmm. they see it for you and then you can see the magic happen without having to focus yeah. on it or what's the preference? I think uh, for me it's a um, it's a mixture of both. Uh, I like um, I like when the director uh, has his vision but I think he needs to be open for the for everything you know for the actors for circumstances and everything but I also like a little bit of math when when in the process especially for um, um, putting putting things on the stage you know for the first like when we leave the table so we re we are reading lines we are reading the text okay so we are ready to go in the on the stage yeah to to like uh, put things how do you say it prostor to um I don't know the phrase, when the actors are in the middle of rehearsals, when you leave the table and you go to, to the like stage, to, yeah, location, and, um, and then you have a period where you are like searching. I like that period. I like when, when, when we actors can make mistakes. And I like when the director leaves us to make those mistakes. Yeah. But then, at some point, I like when he says, okay, that's enough. Okay, so this works, this doesn't. So let's take this, and now let's organize it. I like that part of organization because in my own experience, when you don't have organization, it doesn't have to be very strict, you know? It, um, but some kind of organization needs to be. And I like when the, the director has that, like, uh, certainty, you know, and that um, determination. And then, when it's so good, fixed, and then you have those little windows when you can improvise and when you can put your things, and that's fantastic. Then you have, like, that piece and it, everything and it's like mm, yes <laughs> and then i can play you know yes. i have like fixed things and i have those little windows so i like that kind of director that has both thank you uh, <laughs> regarding the same top topic yeah. uh, obviously it's very different uh, but i um i i saw when filming my uh, mm -hmm. short film, which is, I say, very different uh, amateur actors and so on. Mm -hmm. I uh, realized that we did uh, like a, a day of shooting uh, and then we decided to scrap the, day, the, the footage from that day mm -hmm. and the next day to do the same thing over again. Yeah. Uh, but I realized that the second day, even though it was it was literally tomorrow, uh, nothing mm -hmm. big changed in our lives. Uh, the actor were all the same. Yeah. Uh, and everything was the same, but I realized that maybe once they had slept on what they did the mm -hmm. day before, 
uh, it was much better or at least much closer to what I wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that's even in the professional circle or circles uh, a thing that, that happens? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think, um, I don't know, how, how do you have rehearsals before, uh, before uh, filming? No, but uh, when I uh, did this, mm -hmm. the late, uh, latest short film, uh, I was, I realized that in the future I want to have rehearsals. Yeah, I, rehearsals. I, um, I think it's very important to, to have like, even the, just one day, just one day. It's, it's you, you said the right thing, they slept over it. And that's uh, when it goes through you, it's easier. Then it comes more naturally, you know? I think that is very important. Mm, maybe, maybe in filmmaking, uh, those rehearsals are uh, like less, you have less of them. Um, but okay, you have smaller like um, uh, film, you know, it's not the whole play. But, um, but I think it's important for, for us actors I mean, you have some actors that can do in the first, like, wow. But you can't expect that everyone has it. You can have one, two. But if you have a scene with five actors, I think it's better if you have, like, a little rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe to, to, to switch topics a bit. Um, what I was thinking about recently was uh, shooting films when it comes to uh, chronological uh, Chronology. Uh, chronology yeah, so yeah, yeah. when uh, when uh, a shooting mm. is uh, happening, so it's yeah. twelve hour twelve hour hour days yeah, uh, yeah. for weeks on end, and uh, obviously sometimes you maybe film the the first scene and the second to yeah. last scene, and do, does an actor uh, do you have to, to 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 get to know the material really well before you even start shooting, so that you know that okay now I'm uh, now I'm acting uh, the part of the no. script where I'm feeling this way or uh, do 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 you get confused in all of that? Or how I does that think work? it it is important that the actor knows. I think. I mean, um, or or you have to be that good director that you can explain. Uh, th yes, director that you can explain to your actor, and that the actor believes you so much and that it, 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 he can take those instructions. But I think it's better that uh, the actor knows the topic. I, 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 personally, for me, I would, it's no problem. Okay, we can film the first scene and then the 12th and then the 25th and then the fourth. It's, a, it's no problem. But for me, I have to know what comes before and what was. Yeah, yeah. Or, I, I mean, I don't have to read the script, but I will need you to tell me, you know, to, to fill me in. For me, I think. But I think Thank most you. of them work that way. So, is anyone, um, I mean, you, you all want to be directors, or is anyone want to, ah, you want to, you want to be an actor? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> When it comes to, to working on sets, uh, Brando famously said that yeah. his job is, uh, he is paid to, to wait 10 hours a day uh -huh. for uh, the different departments yeah. and then to, to maybe have a half an hour or an hour uh, of the 12 hour day yeah. to, to actually perform. perform yeah. What's that like? But th those are uh, differences between uh, acting uh, in theater and acting in, in front of the camera because um, I think uh, with, with Filmmaking, you can do that. You, 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 there's a lot of waiting for us, for actors. There's a lot of waiting when filming, and um, and in theater it just kind of goes in its flow. So, so those are big differences. You know, we I think for an actor it's important to to have both. You know, to to learn how to do both. Yeah. Uh, and. If, if someone <laughs> else wants to ask, I don't know if it's a problem. I, I have tons of questions, but... Uh, uh, an interesting thing I also had a debate about recently was maybe the, the ethics of uh, acting and what is, uh, as a person, acceptable uh, to do in, in order if you believe that uh, what you're doing is helping you achieve a better role. So, for instance, Daniel Day-Lewis mm -hmm. uh, in, in a movie... I think that was his first Oscar. He uh, acted uh, a disabled person. Yeah, my and left, uh, 
moje lijevo su po... Kako se zove? Da, da, da. My, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, a thing that, that happened uh, was that he... Uh, I mean, not insisted, but mm-hmm. wanted uh, people to carry him around mm-hmm. uh, yeah. as if he were disabled. Yeah. Uh, and uh, someone I was debating, uh, I maybe in that uh, circumstances, if uh, everyone, in my opinion, if everyone, uh, if that, that's their job to carry him and if uh, it's all done, maybe, maybe, I don't know. For him, like uh, what? Uh, not for him to be a jerk, but if he truly believes that, and if the the people that accepted that job really da. accepted that job, uh, I saw no problem to it. But uh, maybe someone else I was debating about said, "Okay, but maybe that's going too far." But maybe it wasn't because he won an Oscar, da. so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I for me it's okay. <laughs> you know, I think everyone has it's. it's his own ways and he has his <laughs> definitely i think for for me it's okay i would carry him <laughs> no problem <laughs> uh, and um i wouldn't go that far but um look you have to you have to find you find it for yourself and he found a way and if those those people if they accepted it then What's the problem, yeah. you know? Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, if they said yes, well, <laughs> why are we debating? But uh, you have that, I, I read that, I don't know, Christian Bale, uh, for every role that uh, when, I don't know, he's playing an American, he's going to talk uh, in American accent yeah. all the time, you know? When he goes home, he will talk American. A lot I mean, of people don't actually know he is, he is British. He's British, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... For some, that is going too far. I don't think so. Why? Because he's, he's, he's doing it. He's working on himself. He's, that's his way of working it. I mean, if, if it's not affecting your way of life, then why, yeah. why not? No? <laughs> so, I mean, I wouldn't... I play the Dalmatian. Not the dog, but the... The, the, girl, yeah, the, the girl. people from uh, from a certain region in Croatia. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and and that's not my natural <laughs> way of talking. And yes, when I went outside, when I talked to authentic people, sometimes it would get into me, and I would leave it. You know why? Mis- I I mean, it's something that uh, I try to go through me. I wouldn't go that far to speak with my mom in yeah. uh, in that way but sometimes i don't know it's it's fine with me i know those those that, that kind of things are fine with me <laughs> that <laughs> um is there a certain kind of role or character that you find more easy to play or that you like playing more I mean, we have all our uh, our own personalities and all our own manners, and when I have the role that is more likely to me, it's easier for me, you know. But uh, it's interesting, more interesting for me when when the person I'm playing is kind of the opposite of me, you know. It's interesting because you get to know the whole world, whole other other world, you know. So, um, and I'm the kind of guy that, like, that likes to dig. I like the psychology of the, of the character and I like to um, explore everything. So when I have a pers- person who is totally different than, it, than myself, then I'm like, woohoo! So I can like, uh, get into all those uh, different hallways in my brain. So yeah, like, I'm again sch- schizophrenic right now, but... <laughs> Uh, it's more interesting, definitely more, more interesting. Yeah, so you also uh, practice a, a lot of different ways of, of thinking in your Oh job. yeah, definitely. I, I try to find uh, the reason why for every line I say and for every, uh, everything my character does, I try to f- find a reason. So yeah, that's, there's a lot of exploring and there's a lot of... Um, uh, yeah, psychology, digging. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and um, also, uh, 
of course, you're working, working together with other actors. Yeah. Um, does it sometimes happen that uh, uh, you uh, you really get along well with one actor, but you have to uh, you have to really hate him in in the role? Oh, that's great for me. the The problem is when I don't like the actor, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I have to like him. <laughs> no, it's not a problem. I'm kidding. But um, but uh, uh, the the uh, the harder part is when. Um, you have colleagues uh, when you don't get along with someone. It's not the, the thing that goes on the stage. It's the rehearsals that can be hard okay. when you have someone that, that is not like your favorite kind of person. <laughs> it makes it more difficult to work together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can do it, you know, and we will do it. It's, it nobody can will see it on the stage but mm, it's harder yeah yeah it's harder it's it's hard when you have someone who is um, i mean we we talked about uh, play is a living organism you have to have you have to have everyone on the same page i mean on the same level and when you have someone who wants to stick above that level and then it's hard yeah because you have to deal with this guy's ego and not with his lines, you know, so it's harder. And when you don't have a partner who is reacting, who is just trying to be there per on the stage, and then, yeah, it's hard. But you do it, I mean. <laughs> it also sometimes happen that uh, it's just too much to work with and you don't want to work uh, with them anymore, or have you never quit any production? Oh yeah, I quit one production. Yeah, yeah. I uh, had a very difficult partner and we were filming and I went to the producer and I said, no, no, no way, no more. Because, and the problem is he wasn't, I mean, it's not a problem. Uh, he wasn't an actor, he was an amateur, but it doesn't matter. You have like many people who are not the actors, but they're great. But uh, this guy was like very egocentric and very like energy uh, stealer. <laughs> and he just and we were film filming for a long, long time. And every when every time we finished, I I felt like so drained, but not in the positive kind of way, you know, like, oh, I gave my best, but no, you were just like empty drained, like <laughs> bad drained. And, and then I went to the producer and I said, hell no, no more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. It doesn't happen often. No, 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 thank God. Okay, no, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it happened to me only once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But you do often feel like drained in the good way. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a kind of um, uh, you know that exhaustion when you like you, do does the, anyone do some sport? Yeah, what do you do? Uh, judo. Judo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you know that that point of um, training when you just when you're dead. But, it's more but <laughs> yes, but it's like. <laughs> You're dead and you're so good with it, you know? And, and when the good plays are like that, then you're like, oh, you're dead, but you're like, okay, yes. Like, it's like high, it's like some kind of high. I can't, I can't explain it, but it's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I really felt one um, period during the COVID when we didn't have uh, plays I really missed that feeling, you know, I missed that exchange and that drain and yeah, yeah, I like that feeling. So I like when the, the plays are I intense. I mean, it can be comedy, you know, it doesn't have to be like very dramatic, but it has to be for me real, then I'm in enjoying it. When the play is like, eh, then it's like, oh, okay, yeah. okay, we're doing it, but wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, about the like whole uh, different kinds of characters and different training of different ways of thinking, pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, I was wondering if you ever had like a role with a with a like a topic or a play with a topic which you weren't really familiar with or had a very different opinion about, and then it changed because of the role you had and like 
the way you thought about uh, for, uh, for, yeah. uh, for example, you had to play with the mother of an autistic child. Yeah. It might have changed your perspective on oh, autism yeah. or something. Like, yeah. was there anything that stick to oh, you? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, you 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 look uh, <laughs> you. I mean, you get more perceptive. Um, yeah. You you uh, every time I go out now and when I see, I can all instantly see when there is a kid on the spectrum, you know, he, he or she doesn't have to make a uh, like, um, big scene. I can, I can see it now in very small things, you know. Um, but I know now how to communicate with, uh, with the parents, with the kid, or maybe not to communicate because sometimes that is even um, more right. Uh, but uh, it, it changes, yeah, it changes uh, the whole thing. For me, it was very, because I'm a mother, it was very changing for me, really. I can't even explain how much. When you're working with that kind of uh, maybe touchy, uh, mm -hmm. complicated subject, uh, how much do you maybe research, prepare? Oh, we research. I, um, I wrote the text. Oh, okay. Uh, it, was, it was two years ago, uh, the two mothers from, from Karlovac, they have uh, children with uh, spectrum, in the spectrum, and they came to us in, in our theater and they, they uh, really came with an idea that they wanted to make um, a play for grown-ups, not for kids, and, and for uh, audience to learn more about autism because there is increasingly increasing number of uh, kids in the spectrum and nobody really knows uh, how to uh, communicate with them or just even how to involve them in our society. So they had that idea and for me uh, so then I started to research because I couldn't write about something that I had no clue, you know. And two years, really, I, I researched with them. I uh, spent a lot of time with, uh, with their children and with them. So, um, and when I gathered all the information about autism, then I said, okay, now I can write. And um, really, the writing was uh, very natural. It came very natural when, when you know everything. You know, it, then it wasn't a problem. It was just imagination uh, with all the facts. Uh, and then the acting came, but, and those mothers were there with us because we have an actor who played an autistic kid, and they were there to, like, uh, coach him in a way, you know, to say, oh, this is too much, don't go there, or um, you, or some things they do, yeah. you know, they, uh, for instance, our, our character, um, he's in, uh, he, as he's obsessed with traffic, so he's, every he, he, all the time he has a little car, like a toy car, and every time he's uh, like playing with the um, with the tires, yes. wheels, yeah. And that mother told us that, so that's like very characteristic for an autistic child, you know. So you have to do the research for that kind of theme. I mean, even if I didn't write it, I would do the research. That's great, no. yeah. That's great. Definitely, definitely, no question about it. So the kid, the 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 young actor who played the the autistic kid, also did a very very big research, yeah, not just Rain Man, like he watched everything, <laughs> not just Dustin Hoffman, <laughs> yeah. Um, if I can again shift maybe uh, the yeah, topic a bit, um, you mentioned uh, you mentioned accents, accents. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering most about uh, maybe languages and if you ever uh, maybe d did a performance like uh, phonetically and so on, mm -hmm. uh, some actors I know in the film from 2006, it's called something, a Croatian film in yeah. which a female actor uh, didn't know German, but... Uh, ah, played the uh, German role. Yeah, uh -huh. and she learned all uh, everything uh, phonetically, but when I watched uh, another uh -huh. movie at Pula uh -huh. Film Festival, uh, so Illyricum, I mean, who am I to criticize, but uh, they are using um, 
a non-existent language uh -huh. and sometimes or a very very ar archival ang a language that uh, yeah. that no one actually sp speaks yeah. uh, to me, the performances seemed as if they were mostly focusing on the language. getting yeah. the words out of their mouth yeah. and remembering what their yeah, made yeah, up yeah. words were. So I don't know if you ever worked like that and uh, how do you think that language may be Well, I think the language is very, very uh, important. I mean, uh, the, uh, one of my colleagues from the academy went to Ireland and he wanted to like um, try to be an actor there and a few years uh, later he came back he said no way I mean it's not your net I mean he had to he really um, needed needs to know the language in its core you know it has to be like in you the language because language is our instrument you know you it's it's part of us you have to ver be very um, in control of it so I think it's very hard for for people for actors when they are not acting on their mother tongue, I mean you have to be very very uh, good in that language if you are not if it's not your mother tongue. I I saw also many performances of actors and you can see it's not real. You know, you, just what you said. You see that it he's focusing on words getting out and not the intention. A stereotype, uh, stereotype that some, uh, sometimes uh, occurs is you don't have to learn the language that good, yeah. but you have to play uh, the bad boy from Belgrade or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> da, 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 so da, da. that's <laughs> something which a lot of yeah. uh, oh, Balkan actors try to avoid when oh, yeah, working yeah, abroad. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just to mention the film, I, the German film I was talking about yeah. is uh, Frau Willen, uh, directed by Andrea Staka with Maria Škaričić, who <laughs> learned all her lines <laughs> phonetically. <laughs> so she, yeah, she yeah, just yeah, repeated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. German I didn't words. watch it. I didn't yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I know. I mean, the r rare actors where where they they can do that. I yeah. think there's a there's not a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the topic of accents, um, I think you also had roles with different ac accents. Probably, mm -hmm. is there any accent that you like really? struggle with or like how do you deal with an accent that you aren't really familiar with for me um i i like i said when i was in split filming i moved a lot around split you know the the city um to to hear the accent to hear to catch the melody for for me the first was to catch the melody i think when i in my head studied accents um every part of I'm talking about Croatia now. Every part of our country has an accent, but it also has an, a melody. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very interesting because the way we are speaking is also different. Um, I studied phonetics for one year before the academy, and um, th those are little things <laughs> in our mouth that happen. I mean, the... Um, uh, Dalmatians, Dalmatinci, they have like, like more of um, upper scale, you know. Uh, though when Zagrebchani, uh, the uh, people from Zagreb, they have like more, a little. It's not for all of them, but mostly like a little bit of nasal, mm -hmm. kind of talking, and um, and uh, like for example, people from the north of Croatia, they have like more in the throat, like we say gutural, I don't know how to use it, more like somewhere here. So when you get that and the melody, I think it's not so important, I mean, you, it's not so important to get the every accent. So uh, that's what I see some actors struggle when they act like in, I, I don't know, Bosnian. Um, they can get every accent, but when you don't get like the tone and the melody, it's, it still so sounds wrong somehow, you know? Like, for instance, I had to play uh, in one movie an American, and, and, that, and that guy told me, you have, you are, you are, you are, every accent is good and everything, but you are still, I can see, your tongue is here, <laughs> and the Americans have like tongue more behind, you know, it's like, there behind like <laughs> so when when he told me that i was like oh yeah right and it sounds different 
I mean, it's little, little things, but details, you, you, yeah, details. Yeah, details. Yeah, yeah. Et. Ajde, sam ja naš Uh, I was uh, recently wondering uh, mostly about directors, but uh, it can be applicable to actors. Yeah. Uh, do you watch your own movies, oh TV, TV shows? Like, do you yeah. sometimes analyze yourself? <laughs> do you try to find uh, faults in your, I don't know, in everything? Do you, do you learn uh, from, from watching yeah. your past performances? Uh, or is the, yeah, you attend yeah. the premiere and uh, No, 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 I, I watch it, but I have to be like, I have to get myself in that mood when, okay, I'm not watching it uh, to see me, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching it to see faults or, or, or good things, but uh, I'm watching it, watching it analytically. But it's hard to get there because you're an emotional human being. And when you see something wrong, you're like, fuck. <laughs> and you're embarrassed, you know. And when, so you try to like get that embarrassment behind. And then, okay, I can get, and then I can watch it analytically, but I can't say uh, it comes easy for me, you know. Uh, I, now I can watch something I did 10 years ago, and I can say, okay, <laughs> okay. But like to see my play from one month ago, nuts, I, I need some little more time, yeah, yeah. But I think it's a good thing. To watch say you're it. I yourself think it is. would yes, but if you do that, not just to see yourself and like go bravo, yeah, no, yeah. but to really see, you know, to really like learn from yourself, you know, I think it would be a good thing, <laughs> but you have to get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was also wondering on the topic of embarrassment. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, we did some acting at school, and I always had trouble with like um, detaching myself from an embarrassing role or something embarrassing I had to say or do on stage. Um, and I was like, I was like, struggled with um, not showing that I'm actually. I would be embarrassed if this was real. Right. Like, how do you? Is it like can you train that, or is it something like a flip? I don't. I don't. How do you yeah, deal I, with embarrassing I think, roles? I think it's a flip. I think, um, <laughs> at least for me, I think some things that I did on stage I would never do. You know, I, no way. I mean, sometimes when the when the not even when the rehearsal is right, you do something that you never thought you would do. I mean, for me. Um, and I, I had some auditions, which are bad, you know, always are bad. But I had some auditions that I surprised myself because it's a flip. And you, you don't really, I mean, maybe you can learn to control it. I, I still don't know. I know for me, but not, not every time is working, you know. But sometimes it's just like, where did this come from, you know? And uh, that's that's great, and I, uh, yeah, detachment is hard. I I think it is the hardest thing. From uh, and and embarrassment is like the biggest topic you can, you know, talk about. I mean, some some people and not and and it's a tricky thing because you don't want to get like so big in your ego and that you don't feel embarrassment that's not what you need to look for but you need to like stay on the ground and be released of embarrassment that's like whole life study you know on yourself i mean i don't know but i think the more you do it the more you put yourself in those kind of situations it goes easier so even though if you don't want to be an actor I think it's good that you take some like acting lessons, but not like so you come in front of the camera and no, really like um, acting lessons where where you can get to be yourself or do that switch and not feel embarrassed. I think those are the most worthy acting lessons you can take if you know some actors or filmmakers or uh, that that does that kind of go. You know, it's not, it's not only for actors, it's, all, it's for every human being, I think. Yeah. 
yeah. we practice it too, and it's um, it's always interesting because when we used to do we ha we have theater classes at school, and um, we used to have an assignment and then uh, practice it, and then suddenly you would have to perform it for your class, like yeah. classmates, which yeah, is yeah. extra scary. Yeah, um, of course. And I could never do like I could never rehearse correctly because in the rehearsals it felt more embarrassing because there's not like a mm -hmm. a deal which yeah. says like oh the audience knows you're acting it's like more informal and direct so yeah. do you actually rehearse it as extreme or as um, oh, embarrassing as question. it would be on stage or um, do you save that for the actual play where you know the audience knows they're here for like yeah sometimes I do that yeah yeah sometimes okay. I save the best for the last yeah I don't yes. think it's a good thing I don't I personally don't think it's a good thing because it's not fair to your partners um, but it's something that happens naturally because the audience it's something that the audience does I think when you feel people uh, it's it's something that like in you it's you know like that they call it uh, I don't know I don't have a stage fright in that way like to to uh, to be scared I'm not scared of that I will forget my lines but I have that stage excitement because I know the audience will every time work different on me how to say um, um, that's why that's why what I said I don't have any expectations of them, but I know it will something it will bring in me. So yeah, most of the time, uh, it's bigger, bigger on the in the play than in the rehearsal. Although there are some rehears rehearsals that just happen like, <gasps> and you can never ever do them again, and that's so horrible. Yeah, yeah that's so horrible. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, that's the magic of it. So then if, for example, in a film set, I can imagine yeah. if you have the whole idea of an audience with a play, maybe it's easier to deal with embarrassment in a play than in a film set, or is there, do you not feel a difference between that? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it's easier. My, because when it's filmed, it's filmed, it's like there forever, <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and when you play, when uh, even if it goes something wrong on the stage, or I mean, it will the moment will pass, and um, you you can like I don't know. It's yeah, maybe it's less embarrassing on the stage. You don't see yourself. <laughs> I mean, you feel I I don't know. It's a tricky question. Uh, it's. Um, I, I think I have a more like fright, let's say fright, of the filmmaking than than playing in front of the audience. Yeah. Although maybe it's not normal. I think <laughs> because yeah, you know, I understand. People, yeah. Are, people, people are afraid of people, and um, and it should be the opposite. You know you. When you're filming, you don't have people, so you can be like, "La, <laughs> no, they will see, but you won't be there." Uh, but but for me, it's like opposite because uh, when it, it's done, it's done, it's done, and when you see it, it's like, "Oh, I could do this different. Oh, I should have done that." I don't know. Maybe I have too much thinking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, with the play, it's in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Filming is also more intimate because oh, it's more focused on the definitely. details. So I can imagine. No, I mean for me, it's not, not that I don't like filmmaking. It's it's wrong. I, filmmaking is um, the, the the whole different kind of magic. I like I like what film can do. What theater can't is that um, it can like combine so many different things, and like you can. Um, you know, you know, you, you can't do some things in theater what you can do in in film. But but the the, the theater has like that if it's good, like it, it sucks you in. You know, it's that magic that it's right there right now, and and when it's good, you everyone feels it, or most of them feel it, and and it, it's alive. And then after the play, that good drain, you know, that yeah. good feeling, and that's something that's not maybe compared with with. Filmmaking. In a way, the theater is the purest form of acting, 
I think so, yeah, yeah. But not that I'm diminishing <laughs> filmmaking. I, I mean, no, really, I love it. I really love it. Uh, it has, really, it has its own magic, but, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, because we talked about analyzing of your roles in movies, then with plays you can't watch, you, you can't watch yourself, so yeah. do you rely on the different, um, of what people say to you after play or like the director for your um, acting mm -hmm. in a play or is there a way for you to look back at it? I don't know how. <laughs> uh, um, I think for me it's very important to have the director, I need to trust him. Yeah. So when, it's d when you have the play, when it's done and when you hear, hear the like the critiques, crit criticism, yeah, it's hard yeah. to change. Really, it's hard because it's, um, it's a complete piece and it's not only you in it. You have other actors, you have everything, you know, not just actors, you have mm, songs, you have um, uh, s scenography, everything. And, uh, and when something like after the play and someone or more people tell you, oh, it's, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. It's like, how? How can you change it? I mean, you can maybe work some things, but it's very hard to change everything because you will have to change little, literally everything in the play. It's not possible. Because it's a living organism. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you can't like, I mean, maybe you can go and fix some things, but hard, hard. When the play is bad, it stays bad, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, as someone who wants to be, as I said, a director, uh, recently when I did a, a, an acting job for a, fr a short film, a friend uh -huh. of mine, uh, I felt that uh, at times, I, I think I felt the scene better than when I was directing my own scenes. So I uh -huh. felt what my uh, so oh. acting partner uh, yeah, yeah. was saying and I uh, even better saw uh, felt when uh, when I believed or didn't believe what he said. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's relating to what you said about uh, that you think uh, acting is useful for for everyone. Yeah. Do you think that uh, uh, do you think that um, it's it's good for a director to put himself in uh, acting scenarios to do maybe uh, rehears rehearsals yeah. with his own and maybe to try acting some. Sometimes. I mean, yeah, we, we had a one director that, I mean, uh, when it's not like for but, uh, but uh, I think it's good for, for a director to, 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 s to be in the place. Yeah, I think it's good because y y he can feel it. And I also think it's good different. Uh, sometimes we hear better when someone else is saying our lines. We have that. Uh, we have that um, on the academy, we had that uh, viejba, uh, exercise. exercise. Um, so we had a, line, we had a uh, scene and uh, I have my lines, you have yours, and then in one uh, opportunity we change. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and then, but you have to say the way I said it, oh. and then when you hear it, you say, no, that's wrong. It sometimes you hear better from the like outside than when you're inside. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a very good ex exercise. And uh, sometimes when the scene is not working, I mean, you have like you know everything, and uh, but it's just not working. And then we do that. But then we do that because someone then will hear something else, and someone uh, and say, "Oh, okay, okay, that's a problem." You know, so it's a good. And maybe with the directors, it can also be like that. You know. To, to feel, yeah. Sometimes when I uh, when I did the directing of my short film, um, I find it uh, uh, so when I don't like the way an actor said the line, I find it best to maybe give them my interpretation of the mm -hmm. line. But they say that uh, actors hate that, that <laughs> when yeah. you feed them, yeah. say it this way. Uh, <laughs> but also yeah. um, sometimes <laughs> just to say do it with more excitement yeah. is is too simplistic. Mm -hmm. the, are there maybe any? Um, specific approaches or ways that uh, a director once said something to you uh, yeah. which uh, mm. directed you in, in the... I think, I think the, best, the best thing, uh, best thing uh, is to go a little back 
and to, to, to say, to maybe find the reason why you are saying this. Oh, okay. you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, a yeah. like a motivation. So why did we go yeah. this way? So when, when I know the motivation, it will be easier for me to maybe say the line. Yeah, we hate when, when the director... I have uh, really? I, I mean, it, it, because um, excitement is different for, for you and for me, you know? It's not the same, your excitement and my... And when you say, oh, Jana, and, say to, and you want me to say like that, it will be wrong, it will be just false, you know? So I think it, the, the best way is to find an intrinsic uh, motivation. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the purest so that thing. Everyone understand, uh, understands what the specific thing that is happening in the, in the scene in is. In the scene, yeah. 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 I, think, I think that's the crucial for everything thing you do mm, filmmaking or 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 directing um, acting in theater film that's the crucial why how much does a does an actor uh, have to be in a way a psychologist do, do you think of maybe studying psychology is uh, yeah. is good for acting i think yeah i think my i mean for me it is interesting and i like it and i think it does uh, does us good you know to to expand to to know some some psychological things yeah 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 we had actually on our academy through uh, uh, three years we had psychology yeah yeah and it, it's very interesting good nothing no. maybe uh, uh, i know people hate th those sort of questions but anything else about I don't know uh, what interested me most in, uh, most in this uh, conversation and in acting yeah. is the specific way in which a director and an actor uh, work together. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, else to add, like a tip or what you learned? Yeah. When do you perform best? When are you directed the best? When? Um, it depends. I mean, no pressure. No pressure. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, Personally, I, I like um, the feedback. The feedback is, I think, very important. So constant. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be constant. I mean, you don't have to tell me that I'm bad. I will feel it. <laughs> but, um, but even if that happens, I need a feedback in, in a way not to uh, shame me. I think the worst thing you can do to your actor is to shame. Uh, the person, but to to find th then to work, you know, it, okay, I'm not getting this line good, and we all know it, and you can tell me a hundred times, no, but more excitement, uh, tell it like this, uh, the measure, but okay, when you see it's not working, then go deeper, I mean, maybe leave some time for this person, for that actor, and maybe talk. I, I, for me, I find that works. You know, to explain more, that I go back to the motivation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to, to like um, clear everything. Maybe sometimes some actors have a blockage. Uh, I mean, sometimes you can have a blockage to the role. I mean, the uh, director has to know the actor, you know? You have to know who are you working with. Uh, you have to feel when he's like, uh, it's hard. You have to be like a little bit of psychology yeah. yourself. It's not like, okay, we have to d get the job done. We have to do it together. So you maybe think the, the most useful thing is to take a moment or two to so so not to rush and yeah. to say it this way, but to take yeah. a moment or two and take a breath and yeah, explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think okay. I think maybe sometimes, or maybe even if uh, sometimes I think I know, I think I understand. Not think I know I understand the text, but it doesn't go out. Then I I prefer to uh, like. Um, with my director, I, I like to find, no, to be honest, okay, so you say, okay, I see you understand, but it's not getting out, something is wrong, you know, so go, go deep in yourself, see what's wrong, do you have a blockage with that line, is it something in you that's like putting a wall, you know, I think you should be like that, like, like, be a friend with your actor, be, thank you, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
I think that's it for me. Really? Okay, that was fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. It was it was great. Thank you. Thank you. Fala, mama. Fala. Thank you really for the nice conversation, both with Petra and with Dario. And um, yeah, you're free until. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh no, you're not free. <laughs>